Joe the Cigar Tainer here, and I want to talk to you about the tobacco industry and our experience in it, in particular today, focusing on Elaine, our president. You know, most tobacco companies are big conglomerates. Even the cigar company that Elaine worked for, General Cigar, is now owned by Scandinavian Tobacco Group. But back in the 90s when Elaine worked for it, it was still owned and operated by the Coleman's. Edgar Coleman Sr. was still the chairman of the board and operating the company. Edgar Coleman Jr. was taking over as the president running day-to-day -day operations before it eventually sold out the Swedish Batch. But back at that time, Elaine had the opportunity to work directly with Mr. Coleman Sr. A few times, one-on-one, -on -one, in the car. She told him one time to buckle up the seat belt. It was company policy. I mean, he was just a great guy. You can see the fun he used to like to have. Uh, in this picture here. Elaine is actually the fourth person back from Mr. Coleman uh, in this picture. But she also had a chance to work with the son of Monte Cristo, Benjamin Menendez himself. She introduced Benji to me. He's an icon in the industry. And she knew a whole lot about the industry from the bottom up, acquiring a big library. She was self-educated, been to a lot of factories. Here you can see her at the General Cigar Factory in the Dominican Republic. So uh, she knew a lot and was a great salesperson for General Cigar. But by the end of the 90s, corporate was starting to take over a little bit and she came over as our director of national sales for Millennium, a brand that I had created and quickly put the brand in 120 stores. Phenomenal job, but we just weren't big enough to handle uh, a brand like Millennium and the big companies had uh, created their own. So events were starting to take over about that time. So we let the, uh, the uh, brand go to a distributor and then it died off. But Elaine came and worked inside our company as the president. And she also served as a cigar tainer. So one time as she was working with Ingrid, George's wife, George is our cigar maker, uh, in Augusta during the Masters and they had a multiple day event over there and Ingrid showed Elaine how to put the wrap on the outside wrapper on the cigars, Cuban style. And Elaine has become quite good at it. She's really a good uh, a cigar roller. And uh, she's got very interested in the fact uh, she always was interested in women and cigars, but also now from the standpoint of making cigars, especially after she found out that her grandmother who came to the United States in 1910 and then again in 1911, uh, after she got her son, her 14 year old son at the time, Elaine's father, uh, to keep him out of the wars over there in Serbia and Croatia, well, uh, she actually, as you can see here on her marriage license, uh, was a cigar maker. Very, very interesting stuff. So we'd like to have a lot of fun, but we love sharing our information. If this is what you're looking for at your cigar events, then please contact me. You can reply to this email. You can schedule a call. I'm here right now. Call me. Here's the number on the screen. Let's talk about how we can help you bring this kind of quality to your VIPs at your cigar stations. So I hope to hear back from you soon. And in the meantime, this is Joe the Cigar Tainer wishing you long ashes, baby.